Hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. Well, it must be because it says there, doesn't it? So, uh, I hope everybody's okay. Uh, we've been following boxing over the last few days. It's uh, quite shocking what's happened, isn't it? But, as far as I'm concerned, I ain't going to be one of them people that is going to who's going to say, "Oh, you can't kick a man while he's down and blah de blah." Listen, Anthony Joshua's got three fights left with Eddie Hearn, and probably 80 to 100 million pound to come off them three fights. 100 and f 105 million on the upside, so. <laughs> As far as I'm concerned, I'm not going to feel sorry for anybody. No, at £20 a pop, and uh, on pay-per-view, and you know other things as well that you know I'm not happy about stub up and things like that. So no, not when you quit like that. Uh 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 uh, you're not getting off the hook. People don't like my opinion on it. So be it. Do you think Anthony Joshua cares about me? No. You think he? Do you think he even cares about? Eddie Hearn, probably not, but he needs him. It's just business, boxing industry, isn't it? Everybody needs everybody. Nobody is really to be trusted. There's about 5% of people in the boxing industry you can really count on. And they're usually the ones that are mainly dealing with amateur side of it and or work in the professional side and they don't make everything about money. All right, that's just my opinion. Uh, Joshua got beat. People need to get over it. They're not going to let him fight Ruiz again. I don't think it rematch. I could be wrong, but I want to thought that them Americans are going to let them belts come back over the water. They've been missing with Klitsch goes for what fifty best part of fifteen year, and you know Wilder's had one at belts, and but other than that. The belts have not really been on them shores, have they, in America. Now they've got all five belts and they'll be moving to get the ring belt soon and have one champion, one face. That's just the way the cookie crumbles. I don't think that face will be Andy Ruiz. Uh, he's a good little fighter, but I didn't think he'd beat Joshua, so I got that wrong. I had him down to losing a round. I got caught up in all the hype. Uh, well, you know, it's boxing, isn't it? People get beat in boxing. But I don't want to hear all that. I'm excited for Joshua's future. Now that he's a challenger again from Eddie Hearn. Eddie, pull the one that's got bells on Eddie. All right. I don't want to hear that. I want to see Joshua come out and say, you know what? I'm changing a few things. That's what I wanted to do, change a few things. I don't want to see him swanning around with private jets, carrying off like he's a G. I want to see some proper contract negotiations. I want to see these people fight proper fights. And Joshua getting beat is now going to put pressure on uh, Tyson Fury. It's going to put massive pressure on Tyson Fury to win against Tom Swartz, which he'll beat him, but We'll see, won't we? He should beat Tom Swartz, but the moral of the story is this. He doesn't make Tyson Fury the best in the world. You know, he's got a skill set that's second to none in heavyweight division, but he's not got a belt, has he? He hasn't got a belt. Andy Ruiz has got four belts. Wilder's got one, Deontay Wilder. So that's the five belts. They're going to be controlled by Al Heyman now and showtime so that's the way the cookie crumbles I'm afraid Eddie Earns got a contract with Sky that's a bit shaky at the moment because it looks like they're going to be working with new promoters next year so he's got a shaky contract with, with Sky and he's with Dazone and he's probably had a lot of money out of Dazone so far and he's had to deliver but Joshua has just well he more or less quit in that fight didn't he and that don't pull ratings in that. So Anthony Joshua 
the flagship man for the zone for Matchroom has just been beat and really there shouldn't really be a rematch should there I mean all the excitement's died down now let's look at it like this Joshua's been beat badly beaten dropped four times and quit that's it why would you need a rematch after a fight like that why would you need a rematch after a fight like that do you know what I mean? It's uh, you could shade two rounds for Joshua out of them seven rounds. You could shade two rounds. I want it judges had him up. I don't know. He needs to be struck off. That man's name needs. He needs naming and shaming. Uh, I haven't had time to look who that were. If you go into the uh, box rec, have a look who the judge were who had Anthony Joshua winning. And go and check how many shows uh, that he's done for Matchroom. Go and have a look. And I dare say that he's probably been involved in a few Matchroom shows. Uh, you know, he, he's the uh, Adelaide Bird. For, he, he's Eddie Hearns. He's Eddie Hearns. Eddie Hearns, Adelaide Bird. Because Adelaide Bird, she was a big favourite with Golden Boy, weren't she? Adelaide Bird. Whenever fighters were not happy with certain judges on shows, Golden Boy shows, some managers weren't happy with certain judges. Oscar De La Hoya always parachuted Adelaide Bird in. No, oh, that's his pet ref. No. Oh. I just think judging is a problem and it needs looking at. Uh, I just jotted a few questions down here. Let's have a little bit of a look. Our match room on Skid Row. Well, it's not for me to say that it's for fans to have a look at, but I'd say there's going to be a few raised eyebrows. Uh, match room became bullies, didn't they? They became bullies in an industry. Uh, where the boxers are classed as the lions and they're frightened by the rats you know 99% of promoters are rats but yet the boxers are frightened of them so the lions they're the boxers lions in the house well really it's leeches in the house isn't it that's what promoters are aren't they 99% of them are leeches. They suck your blood out, don't they? And, uh, you know, it's. It, there's some stuff I'd like to say on here, but I'm not going to do. But Joshua got beat. He got beat up. Got dropped four times and quit. That don't warrant a rematch. Now, when Boote lost against Carl Froch, there were a rematch clause. Now. Eddie Hearn were running around saying it don't warrant a rematch, it don't warrant a rematch and it didn't did it we're saying TV weren't interested in it and blah de blah why would TV be interested in Joshua Ruiz rematch after that beat down they're not going to be interested in that because if that rematch is in the UK it's going to be an Eddie Hearn pet ref and one of them three judges, only one but one can do a lot of damage one of them three judges will be an Eddie judge Sure as eggs are eggs, I can assure you. But what I'm going to do now, I'm going to read you out the map, uh, some things that some things that somebody sent me. Uh, I forgot the guy who sent me it now, but thank you very much. You sent it to me on WhatsApp. Uh, I forgot my password here. That's my date of birth. Right, match room 2018 to 19. AJ loses, Anthony Joshua. Tony Bellew loses and retires. A Coley stinks out the O2, it's not the first time. Chamberlain loses, Callum Johnson loses. He was thrown under a bus, Callum Johnson. He loses. Buglione loses and retires. Lewis Ritson loses. Rocky Fielding lost against Canelo to keep Dazone happy. 
just like Johnson had to keep him happy. Anthony Fowler lost. Kel Brooks disappeared. Oh God, I'm not even gonna, gonna go down, gonna, I'm not even gonna go into that one. Oh God. Poor Kel Brook. Sam Eggington loses twice. Barry Hearn's pet project. Amir Khan lost. Well, he, he quit, didn't he? Josh Kelly drew, but really he lost. Tommy Coyle got smashed to bits, but I like Tommy. Crawler shouldn't have been nowhere near Lomachenko. On a Dazone show, he got beat. Oh, we're at a Dazone show. Might not have been, might have been a ESPN show. So don't quote me on that, but he got beat, didn't he? Uh, Crawler. Jordan Gill got beat while Dave Colwell was swanning around in, in Vegas. He came back with it Monday, Tuesday. They had a press conference Wednesday, weighing Thursday. Apparently he's saying he won't very well and blah de blah and that. Well, you'd know a little bit more if you were here, wouldn't you, Colwell? But he got beat. Reese Bellotti got beat. Scott Quigg got beat, Gavin McDonald got knocked out, Gamal Yafai lost, Jamie McDonald got iced, fighting away from home just like Gavin McDonald, Ryan Burnett lost and left, Katie Taylor got battered but fluked a decision with judges, she's got to rematch that woman to save face, otherwise she'll be known as uh, somebody who got gift decisions she will be the uh, Sven Otka of the female division if she don't rematch that woman Natasha Jonas got beat you know Marcus Morrison did he get beat this season forget now or oh, well, that last season but he's not on scene is he Natasha Jonas as I said she just got beat and you know you've got the WBC they screwed Luke Campbell and Dillian White didn't they where, where were Eddie standing up for them where you know all that is bad promoting and promoting done to put pound notes first and not the safety of fighters it's basically a mess and uh you know that it's unbelievable Uh, I've sent you part four and part six. I sent you them last night. Uh, so, as far as I'm concerned, uh, it's a uh, skiddy row for Eddie Earn. Now he's got to be worried, Eddie Earn, at the moment. And we are Eddie Earn. We don't really have much to talk about because he has done well for British boxing, but. When you scratch the surface, when you hear Anthony Joshua's dad saying that, you know, he had a concussion and uh, he got knocked out by Caballel, this is what people are saying. And so, did Anthony Joshua's dad have a go at Eddie Hearn or something, saying that I told you I didn't want my son to fight? He had a panic attack before the fight. I don't know what it is with Joshua with all this. Is this are they trying to work everybody here to like him, to get behind him or I don't know, but when you're walking about with three hundred and fifty thousand pound watches on and and other various expensive bits of jewellery and you're in seven star hotels in Dubai that they've they've, they've given you to stop for free and you've got big entourages and bodyguards and you're saying be humble and you know you're on private jets and all that but you're saying stay humble be humble stay hungry when you're coming out with things like that and you're keeping it real and that you're not keeping it real like because you're out of touch for, from with reality from everybody else aren't you? you know when you're doing things like that when you're doing things like that it uh it affects people that are watching and thinking well why am I paying this £20 for this pay-per-view when I've been paying 15 quid all these years and then 17 quid then they put it up to, to £20 why am I paying this for these garbage fights that you're having when you're not fighting Wilder or Fury or the Dillian White rematch why are we paying this why should we pay it when we can get a stream this is how this is how fans think and 
even trolls understand it, don't they? You know, there's a group of, there's a band of trolls and people who are unhappy with their lives on Twitter and they're complaining about it as well, you know, I mean really, really tr proper trolls, but if they're going to complain about it, they're in the rights, aren't they, to complain? It's just how they complain about it. But, you know, two seconds. But uh, it is what it is, isn't it? Uh, you know, Joshua has lost touch with reality, and that were a reality check, but it's been coming, hasn't it, really? Dillian White had him on up, didn't he? But his shoulder went. He couldn't finish him off. So there's that. That was the first sign of trouble that he were in. The second sign, Vladimir Klitschko, but he couldn't pull trigger, could he, after he dropped him? He couldn't pull trigger, and Joshua got his second win. This, I'd have had Parker to do a bit better, but the referee won't let him go to work. It would have been interesting if the referee would have let the Tack and Joshua fight go them extra two and a half rounds because I think that that could have been interesting because he looked to me like he was tiring. So there were a few signs there, a few little that I know certain trainers who I know in industry picked up on. And then you had Povetkin caught him, didn't he, as well? But he were not Povetkin, uh, he were in his 40th year, just like Vladimir were in his 42nd year. So the signs were there that they were trying to protect him and all along they were shouting Wilder's name but they didn't, he never got made, did it, the fight. And I can understand why now and Joshua will take that to his grave, only that they didn't have the fight. That's how I look at it. Uh, the fans were cheated. I agree with Stephen A. Smith from ESPN. The fans were cheated, but they're going to be biased anyway because the, the ESPN's a Bob Arum channel, isn't it? And he works with them, and you know they've got Tyson Fury on the books. But I believe that maybe Joshua wanted it, but the people around him didn't. But what you'll see now is hopefully they'll not be afraid of anything because he's got three fights left and. Either said Joshua's three fights will take him to 31 years old. I think he'd be out at game at 31. He'll stop for them three fights and then he'll just go. He'll have made his money then. He'll be over, well over 100 million net. Well over net, that is. So, well, probably more. I mean, he was coming out with things like, I want to be a billionaire. You know, about billions and all that. Why? Why would you talk things like that? And as I've pointed out, there's a lot of things going on. I'm not going to go over it now. You know, the, there's a pile that I hear stories about Joshua that you get to hear, and there's a couple I won't won't repeat on here. But <laughs> I just think that he's a manufactured fighter, and we've had him thrust on us and. You know, he got found out, didn't he? And good luck to Andy Ruiz. I never thought he'd do it. I didn't even think he was in shape to beat Joshua. I didn't think he'd be big enough. And I don't know anybody that backed him. Anybody. But when you scratch the surface, I think we've all missed something. If you take their physiques out of the equation, look at Andy Ruiz's career. People say he beat Parker. But we're never going to get the decision in New Zealand, worry. So people say he beat him. Take Joshua's physique away from him. He's had problems with Dillian White, Vladimir, Povetkin, you know, Andy Ruiz fought out his skin, Joshua had a bad night. Throw it all into the mix and the fact that the referee, you know, he were firm but fair like Joe Cortez should be. He never had the referee doing him any favours like that had been in England after that third round knockdown of Ruiz. It would have been one of them. Are you okay Andy? Yeah I am. No, you're not. Well, what are you fucking asking for then? That's what would have, would have happened, and I wouldn't be having this conversation with you boxing fans now, would I? So, that's how I look at it. So, yeah. I'm filming, so I'm not going to play your message, because I, I ain't got my headphones here. So, you'll have to text me, but I did send it you. Yeah? All, parts one to six I sent and all the times and everything for the inserts I sent all that parts one to six I did it till 20 past one this morning from 
from five-ish. Took me eight hours. There you go, eight hours. Eight hours to sort all inserts out for six 30 minute videos regarding this. A three hour special, but we're going to put it out in a, each individual part. So, not good prints. Three hours is too long for people, I think, to sit and watch. You know, average watch time is about 12 and a half minutes. So, you know, so it's not a good point. If you if your watch time is 12 and a half minutes, it's not a good point in a three hour video. I know some people like things like that, but I don't see the point in that. But you find your way as you go along, don't you? We are a YouTube channel. There's, there's, we've, we've got software now where I can get I get to see all sorts. Um, I'm not saying that you can't do that. If you set your own YouTube channel and you pay money out, good money, you'll get to see how it all works. Um, I can assure you we're going in the right direction. And I just want people who follow the channel to enjoy the channel. Uh, we're, never, we're not going to make this channel about money. No, yeah, we do ads and that. And there's no money in that. There's no money in it at all, but we do ads. We're a registered company. But uh, I'm enjoying it, so be happy. Don't hate. All you haters out there, I'm going to make you into uh, followers. So, but we'll have a, there's a lot on you that should be following that don't, though, isn't there? <laughs> well, according to our social media YouTube software we've got here, Analytics is it or something? I forgot what it's called, but Terry Chapman Dharma knows a bit more about it than me. But according to our uh, software, uh, about 51% or something, is it? I forgot how much it were now 51 or 48. And you don't even subscribe, but uh, you watch it, so that's good. All I want to do is make people happy and watch it and be happy myself while I'm making them. Because it, it's like not like work, is it really? I don't think so, but we're going in the right direction and shout out to Rico and K Official, they were brilliant with me. But channel's going really well at the moment and I'm really happy. So really happy. Because we are the voice of hardcore boxing. Well I know we are because it says on that poster there. So and I'm not like a year and we're not gonna sit here and talk you know what I mean? We're just going to tell it straight. So keep on trucking, keep on supporting boxing. Right, let me ring the gaffer and see what's happening now with this, with these videos. All right, peace out. Keep on supporting boxing and don't be too hard on Eddie Hearn because without Eddie Hearn, what will we be doing? We won't be talking, we won't be sat here, we won't be sat here, we won't be sat here, would we? But Eddie Hearn's lined his pockets, hasn't he? So, alright. Oh, oh.